Are you tired of playing Call of Duty and being stuck at the bottom of the leaderboards time and time again? Or maybe you're already a decent player but you just want to raise your kill death ratio and score per minute. Well you've come to the right place because today I'm going to show you guys my 5 best tips on how to have a higher kill death ratio and just be a better player in general. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn something because class is in session. Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Originate and today I'm sharing with you five tips on how to have a higher kill death ratio and just a better Call of Duty player in general. So tip number one is knowing spawns. If you can anticipate where the other team is going to spawn, then it will not only save you lives, but it'll get you a lot of kills. The sad reality is that Call of Duty has always been really bad about spawning enemies really close to you. It's always been a problem and I've just accepted that that's how COD is. So it would definitely be in your best interest to learn the spawns and how to manipulate manipulate them if you plan on being a Call of Duty player. If you can master spawn killing, it makes it really hard for enemies to see you coming and you can definitely get the jump on them. Knowing spawns is very important to save your life too. If you know enemies are going to spawn near you in certain situations, then you can avoid a lot of unnecessary deaths. Getting to know spawns comes with experience and just playing the game, so if you're just a casual COD player who doesn't play much, then just keep in mind that wherever your teammates aren't, it's probably where the other team is spawning. This happens a lot to me when I'm the only person on my team in a certain part of the map and enemies will spawn all around me. It's really annoying, so just try to keep that in mind. Tip number two is don't just stay in one spot. Contrary to popular belief, staying in one spot or camping will not end in you playing well. Maybe if you're playing against like really bad players, you might be able to get away with it, but the biggest reason why you don't want to stay in one spot is because of the spawns flipping constantly. If you stay in one spot, then eventually your team is going to spawn really far from you, and so guess where the other team is going to spawn? Right where you are. Also, when you don't move very much, you make yourself a very easy target and very predictable and very easy to kill. Try not to be too far away from your teammates unless you really feel confident in your abilities. And the only reason I say that is because if you're near, the more teammates that you're around, the less likely people are going to spawn like really close to you and kill you and like throw you off streaks, whatever. But that's just my opinion. If, if you don't like being around teammates to get a lot of kills, then by all means do that. But that's just my tip to have the highest kill death ratio possible is eliminate that risk of people spawning really close to you. Uh, most people are revenge killers. So if you kill them, they are going to run back to the same spot and try to get revenge. So use that in, to your advantage. If you want to play a slower style than after you kill someone, Change your position ever so slightly so that when they do come back for that revenge kill, it throws them off and you can repeatedly kill them. That's really annoying to be that guy, but hey, whatever it takes, right? I mean, we're trying to build our KD up in our score per minute. Tip number three is use the minimap. The minimap is seriously your best friend in Call of Duty, guys. The only reason I put my face cam in this gameplay is so you can see my eyes. If you notice throughout the whole gameplay, I'm looking back and forth from my screen to the minimap. I probably look at the minimap more often than I, than I do anything else, honestly. The minimap tells you so many things. It tells where the enemies are when there's a UAV, it tells when an enemy shoots, when an enemy jumps, it tells us where our teammates are, which is really helpful because, like I said before, if there's no teammates around, be careful because enemies will probably spawn close to you. Also, the minimap is so helpful because if you see a teammate die on the minimap, that gives you an idea of where an enemy could be if they're using Ghost or Suppressor and they don't show up on the minimap. One more thing that goes right along with the minimap is the kill feed. Most people don't use it, but you definitely should. 
You can tell when enemies are going to spawn just by watching the kill feed. For example, if you're all by yourself on the map and you see on the kill feed that four enemies just died, I can almost guarantee that enemies are going to spawn somewhere very close to you. I know I sound like I'm beating a dead horse with the whole spawn thing, guys, but in my opinion, that might be the single most important thing in being a good Call of Duty player and having a good kill-death ratio. Because you may not have the best gun skill or reflexes, but if you're smart and you know the spawns and you just you play smart, then you can beat skill any day. Like I see players that are really good, like they're skilled, but they just play like idiots and they just run all over the place and they die a bunch and they go negative. Don't let that be you. Like it's it's not fun. Just the, the gun skill and the reflexes, that will come with time. And once you can combine playing smart with the gun skill and the reflexes, then the sky's the limit and you're going to see your game drastically improve. But I, what's more important than the skill is playing smart guys and I'm, and that's why I keep harping on the spawns because like I said I think that's the most important thing when it comes to being a good player. Tip number four is patience. Just be patient. I often find myself playing way too fast because I want all the kills for myself but what ends up happening is I start to die a lot because I'll be running around like an idiot and I'll get killed by a camper or someone that just has faster reflexes than me. There's a fine line between camping and playing smart and waiting for the right moments to be aggressive. And you gotta know when to play a little more conservative. Just be patient and focus on getting your kill streaks. People think that in order to have a high score per minute, you have to constantly rush all the time, but that's not true at all. You can slow the pace down quite a bit and still have a high score. Take time and think. Play according to what your enemies are doing. If they're camping, then you can be a little more aggressive. If they're playing really fast, then play accordingly. Being a good player is all about adjusting your play style based on your enemies and teammates. The fifth and final tip is keep raging to a minimum. <laughs> I am very guilty of this. Just ask any of my friends or my fiance who I constantly drive nuts when I'm yelling at my monitor. Every gamer knows what it's like to rage and it is not fun. It's easier said than done sometimes to say you're going to stay calm and not get mad, but it's so important not to rage. It's a fact that you will never play better from a result of raging. If you're like me, if you start to get mad and rage, you only play worse. We all know what it's like to have that one player who gets under your skin on the other team and is, and is preventing us from having fun. Remember that the whole reason you're playing in the first place is to have fun. So if you start to get too mad, then just take a break and cool off. I've proven with myself time and time again that when I'm calm, I play like a thousand times better. Like Elite Shot always says, keep calm and game on. Well guys, hopefully you learned something today. If you apply these five tips to your game, then I promise you'll become a better player. Like anything though, it won't just happen overnight. It's gonna take practice and just repetition. But this is a new series that I'm starting where I'm going to show my tips and tricks and things I like to do in Call of Duty to be successful. Tell me what you guys think in the comments section. Would you be interested in seeing more tip videos like this one? Or do you guys like just when I do live commentaries? As always guys, I ask that if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and share my video with friends who maybe could benefit from watching the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!